What's up guys, Champ here bringing you some more Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what I got for you is a little two-man destruction on the map Verge. We're playing hardpoint and we're going to start off with Mr. Cod right there. That's why I popped his name up first. And he's going to go off in this game with the Brecci. He's going to completely just destroy these guys. He's going to pick up his Relentless. And I'm also going to pick up a Relentless in this game. I'm going to show you both of those gun streaks coming up. He actually started off this gameplay with a different weapon on and then he decided to throw the brecci instead and he just completely started destroying the team as soon as he threw the brecci on. Like this is his first life with the brecci on and everything changed for him because he did take some deaths early on in this game but he's going to completely turn it around. He's going to get a relentless here. Me and him both are going to completely just destroy these guys in the second half of this game. We're both going to pick up the relentless medal and we're both going to die right afterwards which kind of stinks in this game you'll notice that he's running the uav the hater and the rap setup and this is the setup that we've both been running a lot lately and been having a lot of success it just kind of works i mean you got the uav and the haters so you constantly know where these guys are and then you got the wraps up so they're sitting there hiding up on ledges like those guys just were just trying to avoid the wraps and while they're shooting at the wraps you just go and take them out it's just as easy as that it makes the game simple i mean it's not simple to get the streaks originally but once you get those streaks and put them in then you can just keep rolling them and that's what we're going to do in this game he's going to get his set i'm going to get my set and then he's going to get his set again and I'm gonna get my set again though I don't know who actually got him first it might have been me it might have been him but really it doesn't matter as long as one of us get the hater up the other one can just kind of feed off of that and the UAV is there to help us get our haters and then the wraps are there to just make our KD go up and just make our kill count go up look at this brecci he got right here he's got a nice little camo on his brecci I kind of like that I don't know what it's called I know I just got the haptic camo on my brecci it's a little different than this, but this camo's pretty nice too. It just kind of glows a little bit. Ever since I've been doing those supply drops, I'm into the camos now, you know. I'm into all that stuff. Now that I got a couple things, now I can start talking about it. Some of you guys seem to really like my supply job videos. It gets a little more views than some of my other ones. Don't worry, I'm going to be doing another one coming up this weekend. I might do it early. I might do it like tomorrow maybe the next day because I want to see if I can get that peacekeeper I really want to get it maybe I'll even open up a couple more of them rare supply drops spend a little more crypto keys I can only do a 15 minute video so I can only spend really like 10 to 15 hundred at the most hopefully I'll have better luck I've been averaging about three weapons per thousand because last time what did I got I got the M1 grand last time I got the L4 Siege, which was pretty good, and I ended up getting the sword. So I got three weapons last time. The time before that, I got another three weapons, but then I got two bribe weapons. But those two bribe weapons, I don't really count because those were pretty much automatic. Right here, Mr. Cod pretty much saves me. He ends up taking out one of these guys. I don't know if it was that guy or no. It's going to be coming up right here. I'm coming in this building. I tell him there's a guy coming in right here. Cause we kind of, you know, we communicate and we play together, which makes it all the easier when you're actually playing this game. I told him that dude was coming. He takes him out, so I come in, and he takes that guy out. That's me right next to him. So I had my back to that guy. Mr. Cod saves my life. Appreciate that, Mr. Cod. Thank you for that one. Don't worry. I'm sure I will get you back. I probably already have got you back sometime when we played today or the day before. Notice he ends up finding another haymaker on the ground. Well, not another haymaker, but the haymaker. So he just completely did this streak with shotguns only, which is pretty cool. He didn't even use any type of specialist kills or anything. All shotgun gameplay. Ends up getting the relentless. He gets it right there. Look, he goes to throw his UAV in and he gets sniped. Not much you could do there. When you get quick scope sniped like that, I mean, what are you going to really do? So now we're moving into my part of the game, and I'm using the CUDA here with the grip, the quick draw, and the fast mags. No silencer, I know, it's a little strange. You guys always see me with the CUDA with the silencer. I try to switch it up a little bit. You see, I got that diamond camo on this gun as well. So I'm going to go off. I'm going to just destroy these guys. I'm going to start off in this tunnel. I'm on the hard point. Get some hard point kills. Then once I realize I'm starting to streak a little bit, I turn around and get out the hard point because if you want to go on long streaks you can't stay in the hard point the whole time you got to be flanking you got to be a little more smarter than that 
you're just staying in the hard point, eventually you're going to get overwhelmed, especially when it's just me and Mr. Cod in that hard point like it was right there. So I kill that guy, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to grab these points real quick, and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to skate around this side, and I'm going to try to pick up some easier kills, not just the hard point kills. Sometimes it's good to look into the hard point and not actually be in the hard point, like what I was just doing right there. Kill the guys that are just left over in there. Kill the guys when they're not really expecting you. Because a lot of guys rush into the hard point looking to kill you in there. They don't really look around the hard point. A lot of the times they're sprinting so fast towards the hard point that they don't even realize that you might just be outside of it just a little bit waiting for them. And that ends up working out in your favor if you could do it that way. Right here, I'm going to destroy these guys. I'm going to throw my Wraith up, put the Purifier on, and I'm just going to completely destroy these guys. Look at this. Burn, burn. I love this Purifier. This Purifier is such a good specialist weapon, especially when you got the Hater up. Look, I know they're coming. I know he's right there. I know he's right there. Double burn. And I'm going to wait for this guy and I'm burn him again. So I got all my streaks right there. And I'm already kind of working on getting my next set of streaks, which is great because now I'm still going to get all them points like right there. Raps, Wraith, all them kills, all them points. I don't have the UAV up. I got the Wraith, the Hater, and the Raps. I don't know why I still got the Wraith, the Hater, and the Raps up. I usually try to throw some UAV on when I'm playing with Mr. Cod. I just didn't think to put it on, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's the setup that I got going right now. But I'm liking this quick draw, and I kind of like this Kudo without the silencer sometimes. I guess it all depends on who you're playing. If the other team's super aware, then they're going to kill you without a silencer. They're going to see that red dot on the map, and they're just going to come trying to hunt you down. The quick draw is not something I usually use, but I have been trying to throw it on a little bit lately because I hear that fast hands and quick draw is just way better when used together. And I believe it. I mean, then you could sprint and then just kind of still win the gunfight if you get snuck up on. So that's very helpful, especially for me considering I like to sprint around the map. I mean, that's pretty much all I do the whole time is sprint around the map. I stop a little bit before quarters that I think someone might be at but for the most part I do get caught sprinting a lot so if that's gonna help me out a little bit then why not try it right here I'm gonna take this guy off right there on the hard point get some more streaks throw the Wraith up throw the hater up see I didn't even throw the hater up Mr. Kai got his in the air right now but that's what I'm talking about I didn't have to get that many kills right there to get my hater back because the hater and the raps and the wraith just got me so many points from the last one and I used that purifier and got a lot of points as well so it was pretty easy to rerun these streaks right here this guy's kinda chilling in the back trying to shoot stuff down so I go and find him easy kills that's what you want to do when the hater goes up I used to mess up and I used to run to where all the big blob of all the red was now I want to try to pick off guys one at a time. Those one-on-one -on -one gunfights, I'm going to win most of those. But if I go running into the spawn where there's like four dudes and they're all just kind of waiting there, playing like babies, then I end up getting killed right here. See, one-on-one -on -one gunfight. I know he's over here. He's actually probably worried about the rap, so I get an easy kill right there. Raps as the distraction right there, and I get to take him out. I was just right there. I was making sure that the raps didn't kill him first. So you have to rush sometimes. Sometimes the raps will just go ahead and steal kills from you as well. They are ruthless. Continue along this flank right here. I like to take this little spot right here, but not when the hard point's right there. When the hard point's right there, they know that I'm coming from that way. They're going to be looking out for me that way. So I'm not going to go right in that direction. I'm going to try to take this flank through the street, see if I can maybe sneak up on them. The thing about going on these long gun streaks, you want to get your kills in quick, and you want to make sure that you get your kills, but you also don't want to get taken out trying too hard to get them. See right there, I knew that guy was there, and this is where Mr. Cod actually saves me right there. I don't know if he would have got me though, because I was pretty much ready for that guy anyways. I did turn around on him. I remember in the game thinking that he really saved me right there, because I thought that dude was going to get me. Streak's going to be coming to an end soon. I'm going to pick up this Relentless, and it's kind of funny. We both get killed immediately after picking up our 20-gun streak. There it is right there. I killed that guy swimming, and there he is, the Marshall guy. Hits me with the Marshall, jumps up out of nowhere. I mean, I had no clue he was coming. He jumped really high in the air and got me, and then he hits me with the back of his gun. 
I couldn't react. I tried to react. Actually, he ended up hitting me with the back of his gun while I was jumping in the air. So I almost was able to get out of that. Had I been able to get away from that punch, I would have kept my streak alive. I don't even know if I'm going to find many more guys towards the end of the game. I think I'm going to find one or two. But I hope you guys liked what you saw. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to me at Champ Gaming. If you like these dual perspective games where I show you me and Mr. Cod playing in the same game, where we both just destroy people, leave it in the comment section. Let me know if you like these or if you like it better when I show you guys just the individual games. You know, let me know that too. I'll enjoy to see your feedback. I like to know what you guys are thinking so then I can bring you guys the best content that you want to see. I only got about 115 subscribers right now, so I'm going to cater to whatever you guys pretty much say. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you check out my playlist. I got all types of stuff. I got how to get a high KD, and I go through pretty much every map in the game. I got 100 plus kill games. I got lots of nuclears. And I'm also, I got a Nuketown only playlist, and I'm also doing the biggest earned supply drop in all of Call of Duty. I'm going to flash my crypto keys at the end. I know a lot of, a lot of people like to see those supply drop openings, so I bring that to you guys at least once a week. The Spin Champ at Champ Gaming, come see me.